Hello, this series of videos introducing you to R&D in biotech and pharma is brought to you by two advisors from Cambridge University Career Service, myself, Sally Todd, and my colleague, Lucy Romain. There are many similarities between R&D in biotech and pharma and academic research, but there are also some differences which we'll consider. Before investing time finding out whether you could get an R&D post in biotech and pharma, you might want to think about whether you should. Look through the statements and make a note of which matters most to you. Pause the video while you do. If one, two, and five are really important to you. You will get them all in pharma and biotech. People who want to move are often frustrated by how long it will be before their research has an application. They may want to see it impact a patient. People who move often talk about working in matrix teams, sometimes across disciplines on one disease, sometimes with other specialists across diseases. They reach deadlines by working with others rather than long days. If three, six and nine are really important to you, then pharma and biotech might not suit you quite as well. You will have to do research that fits the company's goals, not just your own interests. When you work with a team, you have to fit in with their schedule. You share the successes as well as the problems. Four and seven. Let's talk about contracts and salary. You may want a permanent contract, but jobs can be lost when small biotechs are taken over or when large pharma changes priorities or relocates facilities. A move to industry won't always be more lucrative, especially in the short term. A postdoc salary can seem small, but you might enjoy other benefits, pension, subsidised childcare, sports facilities, etc. A startup might include stock options in your package. These will be very valuable if the company succeeds, but not if it fails. So visas. It tends to be easier for specialists, such as researchers with shortage skills, to get a visa, whether in academia or industry. But we have seen international postdocs who want a non-research job in industry get there by taking a research job until they have leave to remain. See the video that appears on the slide now. And lastly, science, wanting to do good science. That happens in both. Have a look at publications and patents produced by the industries that interest you. And that should show you that good science can happen there as well as in academia. So thanks for listening. If you're still not quite sure, do check out our videos on assessing common concerns.